Hey guys, my name is Ethan, this is Carbra, and welcome to the series where I teach you how to build a Twitch bot for your Twitch channel in Python. Um, this is just the prerequisite slash introduction video. I was going to do them separately, but um, I'm just going to do them all at once because uh, both videos are quite short. Uh, this is basically just kind of a rundown of the sort of skill set you're going to need and how to install everything you're going to do and how to make the actual Twitch bot itself and everything like that. Um, so to start with, I'm going to go over kind of some general introductiony stuff about what we're going to be doing. Uh, we're going to be building a Twitch bot for a single channel, um, for our own channel really, using some elements from the, the V5 API, but mostly stuff to do with the IRC system that Twitch uses for its actual chat systems. Uh, IRC is like this... Um, I can't remember what it's called, I think it's like inter-relay chat or something. Um, but it, it's basically just a protocol that a number of services are using in the past that Twitch still does. It's a it's a very simple chat system essentially. Um, and we're going to be using an API for that because Twitch doesn't actually have a Python API in itself. Um, and the only ones available are in very, very early pre-alpha at the moment. So we're just going to be using the IRC one. Uh, this shouldn't be too difficult to understand. Um, I'd say the hardest things are going to be object-oriented programming, because we kind of have to use it for the way we're going to do it, and then relative imports as well. Um, that's not something that's particularly difficult, it's just something that people might not be aware of. <coughs> Should also say, I do still have a cough, I will try and mute those as much as possible. Um, so yeah, that's the introduction out of the way, which is why I wanted to do them as two separate videos, because that would have been like a minute. Um, so we're going to get on and install everything we need to install. So launch the CMD, preferably with admin permissions. Um, there we go, OBS has just come back. Um, one thing I learned after the Discord series was completed is that uh, PIP is actually accessible by a number of different methods. Um, so I knew about the differences, uh, the general differences between Windows and Unix. So if you're on Linux or Mac, you would do Python 3.8-m, pip and then install whatever. Um, unless you had like this, you changed it with like, it's like a s s pseudonym thing you can do. God knows how it works, but um, there's that you can do as well. Uh, on Windows, there are two different ways of accessing it. Uh, the first way that I'm going to show you here is if you uh, did not check the install for all users button when you install Python, um, which is pi-m pip, and then install whatever. Uh, if you did check that install all users button, it's just pip. Um, base, I got a few people confused about that before, which is why I'm just mentioning that. Uh, I'm just going to use pip. Uh, the easiest way to check if you can do it is just run pip, and if it comes up like that, there we go, <laughs> it took a while, but there you go. If it comes up like that, you've got it. If it comes up, if the uh, pip is not a recognized program, then you need to do the other way. Uh, so we're going to do pip install, and then I'm just going to do an upgrade call. You don't need to do that, but you can if you want. There's literally no harm in doing it. IRC and requests. Uh, I think I've got everything already. Uh, so we're using IRC, well, I think we're using IRC, yeah, IRC 18 and request 2.22. Um, just so you know, and that's all we need to do there. Uh, so now we have everything installed, we actually need to create our bot on Twitch devs. So you come to the Internet Explorer, use Firefox, you can go to Google and type in Twitch devs, and it's the first link that comes up. Um, and that will take you to something like here. You need to log in up here. Um, you need to create you need to either create an account for your bot or one thing you can do in Twitch actually is when it loads come on there we go is you can go into settings here and in security and privacy you can set uh, enable additional account creation so you can have multiple accounts for the same email address uh, I haven't done that for this particular bot I'm currently logged into my bots Twitch account uh, just the one that I use for my actual Twitch channel because it's just easier. I will show you how to create one, but um, I won't create a new one personally. Um, but you can check this as well, and you can get you could have an additional account for the email address. So you can have it on the same email address if you want. Either way, when you log into Twitch developers, you need to be logged into the account that the bot will use, not your Twitch channel, unless of course your bot will use an account but you just need to be logged into the account it will use it needs to say if you go like here or something oh it doesn't say, actually say 
you need to, you basically need to you need to be on the right account basically is what I'm saying um, otherwise it's going to be posting from your account you don't want it to do that uh, so you get to this overview screen you need to go to applications here and hit register your application you need to give it a name you need to give it an OAuth uh, redirect URL I uh, for my one I just use my Twitch channel literally any URL is fine in here um, for now but I just as I said I just give it my own Twitch channel because it needs one you need to select a category it will be chatbot down here and then you hit create I'm not going to hit create because I already have one so I'm just going to hit manage uh, once you hit create it will take you to this screen it will take you to this screen or screen before you might need to hit the manage button <coughs> to get back to this screen as you can see my Twitch channel is there um, you may also notice this as well um, we need to do a few extra steps before we can get it to work but I just want to talk about a few other things first uh, so you have your client ID here <coughs> This is, uh, well, your client ID, I suppose. It, uh, this is the unique ID the application is given when it is created. Um, you need this information on hand to you. So if you come to the, the Twitch docs here, you can get it from docs up there. Overview here, and just scroll down, you get to here. I probably should have looked at that before starting this video, but never mind. Click that, uh, it will take you to this screen here. As a whatever to revoke, disconnect Twitch chat or don't from your Twitch settings. Okay, and then hit connect, and then you will need uh, this string here. So I'm actually going to copy and paste that into just a new file called most things .txt. I'm going to put that in a thing called files just to make it easier, just so it's out the way, and then we'll have our token there. Um, so yeah, you need this token and you need your client ID and that is basically, you don't need to worry about the client secret for IRC stuff, I believe that's just other API stuff that we're not going to be handling to, uh, in this series. Um, so that's it, uh, pretty much. Um, uh, next video we'll actually be starting to do the code, building the base shell to get the bot to actually run. Um, but if you like this video, then uh, say hello down below. If you have any questions or anything, then leave them down below as well. Or you can join my Discord server in the description to for more for, for better help. It is probably better if you join the Discord server, to be honest. Um, if you're looking forward to the series, then make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you know when the next one goes out, on the next episode this goes out. And I'll see you next time where we start coding bot. Um, but yeah, bye.